Hi everyone, in today's video we're going to be reviewing the right join, also known as the right outer join. Um, to give you some context, it's one of the less popular joins that are used, um, at least in my personal experience. Uh, we'll get into the details of that in a later video. Um, so really, it's a join that you use when you're joining two or more tables, um, and when you're looking to basically stitch the data together from, uh, as shown in this example, from table A and B. Um, so obviously when you're interested in seeing records from table E that have a common data link to table B, um, and you also want to see, you know, all records from table B regardless of whether or not there's a link uh, within table A, that's when you would use a right join. Um, so in essence, you're seeing all records from table B, but you're only seeing records from table A that happen to coexist, the records that are in common. So now let's dive into an example. So just to set the stage here, um, we're going to be working with two tables. Um, we, the first table we have is the customer table. So just to give you some context of what that looks like. Let me query that table. So we see a list of seven distinct customers. And likewise, we'll use another table that we'll be joining to, which would be the sales rep table. And we can see that has four distinct records. So when trying to understand the data of this customer table, uh, we could see that what, we're, what we can use here is the Cus sales rep ID field to link to the sales rep table. So essentially, this column here would be the foreign key that would be used to connect to the primary key of the sales rep table, which is the sales rep ID. Hopefully that makes sense. So one more time, in the customer table, we're going to be using this field here, the Cus sales rep ID, to reference the sales rep ID in the sales rep table. So let's say for our particular use case, what we want to do is we want to see a list of all customers that have a sales rep assigned, but at the same time we want to see all sales rep regardless of whether or not they're assigned to a customer. That would be one example of when to use a right join, but pay attention to the sequence in which I call the table name. So uh, if, I, if, if that is the end result I want to achieve, I would do a select all from customer C, give that an alias, right join to the sales rep table, give that an alias as well, and obviously we're going to be joining on the on the key that we just mentioned, or I should say the foreign key, which would be the cust sales rep ID, and on the sales rep table that would be the sales rep ID. So if we go ahead and run this, so looking at this data set, you could see as per our requirement, we were able to obtain a list of all customers that have a sales rep assigned, um, but also see an additional sales rep regardless of the fact that he didn't have any records. So, so obviously the customer table was table A and the sales rep table was table B. We were able to get every, you know, all of the commonalities, but then we were also able to get any additional records that the table B had. So I hope this tutorial provided you guys clarity on what the right outer join is, or obviously the right join. Um, hopefully you found this video helpful. Please give it a like if you did, because that really helps the channel out. Uh, I appreciate the support, guys, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.